The National Environmental Standards and Regulations Enforcement Agency, NESRA, says part of its key mandate is to sensitize and educate the public to the dangers of degrading and polluting the environment. The DG of NESRA, Professor Ali Ujauro, made this known in Abuja when he paid the managing director of the news agency of Nigeria, NAN, Mr. Buki Kwanle, a courtesy visit. Jauro said a collaboration with NAN, being a competent media agency, will help NESRA achieve its mandate of sensitization by disseminating information to every part of the country, especially the rural areas. One of the key mandates of this agency is to sensitize and educate the general public on environmental issues so that everybody will key in to ensure that we safeguard the environment so that we have a cleaner and healthier environment. So this can only be achieved by partnering with agencies like the News Agency of Nigeria in order to get the message across all the nooks and crannies of Nigeria. The DG said that NESRA is also mandated to enforce all environmental laws, guidelines, policies, standards and regulations in Nigeria, as well as enforce compliance with provisions of international agreements, which Nigeria is a signatory. According to him, in addition to the 33 environmental regulations the agency has developed and published in journals, it is currently working on implementing the Extended Producer Responsibility, EPR program in Nigeria. As you know, NESRA is a parastatal of the Federal Ministry of Environment. It is the enforcement arm of the ministry. We have the mandate to enforce compliance with all environmental laws, policies, uh, guidelines. We are also mandated to ensure compliance with all multilateral agreements, policies, treaties on the environment, to which Nigeria is a signatory. To achieve our mandate, we developed a total of 33 environmental regulations cutting across all aspects of the environment. So we always go out to monitor and ensure compliance and we also carry out enforcement whenever the needs uh, arises. Currently we are also uh, implementing the extended producer responsibility, which we call EPR. So EPR is a of action in which any manufacturer or producer of any item is saddled with the responsibility of taking care of that item at the end of its life so that it doesn't become an environmental uh, menace. So by taking care of that uh, item, we are tailored towards achieving circular economy. Also, the DG said that the agency is working on implementing the National Vehicular Emission Control Program, NVECP, and the National Generator Emission Control Program, NGECP, to checkmate air pollution from these sources. Currently, in order to address the issue of uh, air pollution, the agency is uh, planning to plug up two important programs. One of them is called the National Vehicular Emission Control Program, the other one is the National Generator Emission Control Program. You all believe uh, and agree with me that uh, these sources are one of the major sources of pollutants affecting the air quality. And when the air quality is impacted, it affects uh, the lives of both uh, plants and animals. It's responsible for a lot of mortality rates and it wardens some of these uh, uh, sicknesses like uh, asthma and other respiratory diseases. For his part, the managing director of NAN, Mr. Buki Kwanle, said the agency will work assiduously in collaboration with NESRA to disseminate information to the public on the need to preserve the environment. Kwanle, however, pointed out that with an environmental desk reserved solely for the purpose of sensitizing the public on an attitude change towards preserving the environment, more grounds can be covered. The establishment of your agency is a welcome idea. Um, we will do everything possible to collaborate and make it a success because we are part of the environment and we must make it a success. Uh, years ago, we developed environment desk and that was when I was here and I headed that desk too. 
we moved all over the country to ensure that we preach the message of uh, 